Elon Musk said Sam Altman and OpenAI lied when they said they're not training on copyrighted data. Can I ask you an interesting uh, IP issue, which I think is actually something uh, I can say as somebody who's in the creator business and journalistic business and, and whatnot, uh, where I care about copyright. So one of the things about training on data has been this idea that you're not going to train or, or that these things are not being trained on people's copyrighted information. Historically, that's been the concept. Yeah, that's a huge lie. Say that again? Yes, well, these, AI, well, these AIs are all trained on copyrighted data, obviously. So you think it's a lie when, when OpenAI says that this is not, n none of these guys say they're training on yeah. copyrighted da data? Oh, that's, that's a lie. It's a lie, yeah, straight up. It's a straight up lie. Okay. 100%. So obviously it's been trained on copyrighted data. Okay, so let me ask you a second <laughs> question, which is all of the people who have been uploading. I mean, it's like a every minute here. Yeah. All of the people who have been uploading articles, the best quotes from different articles, uh, videos, 2X. All of that can be trained on. And it's interesting because people put all of that there, um, and those quotes have historically been considered fair use, right? They, yeah. People are putting those quotes up there. And individually, on a fair use basis, you'd say, okay, that makes sense. But now there are people who do threads, and by the way, there may be multiple people who've done you know, an article that has a thousand words. Technically, all thousand words could have made it onto X somehow. And effectively, now you have this remarkable repository. And I wonder what you, how you think about that again, and how you think the creative community and those who were the original IP owners should think about that. I don't know, except to say that the, by the time these lawsuits are decided, we'll have Digital God. So I have to ask Digital God at that point. These lawsuits won't be decided before on a time frame that is relevant. But is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think we, we, we live, you know, there's that, I don't know if it's actually a real Chinese saying or not, but uh, may you live in interesting times, right. which is apparently not a good thing. I, mean, I, I would prefer to, personally, I would prefer to live in interesting times. Um, and, and we live in the most interesting of times. I think for a while there, I was like really getting demotivated and losing sleep over the sort of the threat of AI danger. And then I finally sort of became fatalistic about it and said, well, even if I knew it was annihilation was certain, uh, would I choose to be alive at that time or not? And I said, I probably would have choose to be alive at that time because it's the most interesting thing, um, even if there's nothing I could do about it. So then, you know, then basically a, sort of a fatalistic resignation helped me sleep at night because I was having trouble sleeping at night because of AI danger. Now, what to do about it? I mean, I've been the biggest the, the one banging the drum the hardest, by far the longest, uh, or at least one of the longest uh, on, for AI danger. And, and th these regulatory things that are happening, the single biggest reason they're happening is because of me. Um, Do you think they're ever going to get their arms around it? We, we talked to the vice president this afternoon. She said she wants to regulate it. People have been trying to regulate social media for years and have done nothing effectively. Well, there's, there's regulation around anything which is a, like a, a physical danger to, or a danger to the public. So, like, cars are heavily regulated, communications are heavily regulated, rockets and aircraft are heavily regulated. The, the general philosophy about regulation is that when something is a danger to the public, that there needs to be some uh, government oversight. So, I think, in my, in my view, AI is more dangerous than nuclear bombs. We put, and we regulate nuclear bombs. You can't just go make a nuclear bomb in your backyard. I think we should have some kind of regulation with AI. Now, this tends to cause the AI accelerationists to get up in arms um, because they think AI is sort of heaven, basically. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section. Also, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates.